The Technology Innovation Institute, or TII, is a global research institute based out of Abu Dhabi. TII today has 10 research centers that are focused on leading-edge technologies. ARRC, or the Autonomous Robotics Research Center, is focused on research in autonomous and robotic systems. We focus on the development of the brain of the robot or this autonomous system. We have teams that are specialized in perception, computer vision, SLAM, control, manipulation, communication, and we also work on the development of hardware platforms in specific domains. We work in the air domain, in the land domain, in the marine domain, both on water and underwater, and we work with single platforms or single robots as well as multi-robot or swarm system. Swarm Robotics takes inspiration from biological beings and it focuses on the design of robotic systems that can operate in harsh environments uh, without the presence of particular infrastructures or centralized systems. The strength of these systems relies in their robustness, adaptability and their resilience to external factors. Swarm's applications are real challenging. The complexity of the system increases non-linearly with the increases of robots. Once on the field, many things can go wrong. Among all the possible applications, we focus on redundancy and robustness that have a bigger impact on uh, applications such as search and rescue, area monitoring, coverage, and also support human operators. Since the very start of the Institute, we advanced extremely fast, and in the future we are targeting bigger and faster swarms. Right now, the aim is to move to a swarm that is bigger than 10 aerial drones at a speed that is greater than 10 meters per second, and this without relying on any external infrastructure. In our group, we are researching towards GPS-less navigation for long-range flights, hundreds of kilometers. The main goal is to develop a navigation stack that is able to go from A to B without relying on any external infrastructure. Here in the UA, we have the other challenge of the flying over the desert without any features, very high temperatures. This makes the flying very challenging. In order to solve this, we use VTOLs that solve the hardest pass part of fixed wings that are takeoff and landing. So imagine you're driving a car without Google Maps. You would start looking around trying to find something that is familiar to you. We do the same with our own drone. We have mounted a camera that is looking around and tries to understand the environment and locate itself. We trained a network that is not only capable of detecting roads, buildings and other salient features, but it is also capable of understanding the shape of the tunes. These are then compared and matched against a satellite image that is stored on board to give the best guess on the position. We then fuse this information with other onboard sensors like airspeed and IMUs to get a final accurate position. With this pipeline, we can fly for hundreds of kilometers in totally unstructured environments like the desert. With my colleagues, firstly, we outline the main subjects that we need to investigate on to achieve our goals. Each of us follows a specific line in our search. We identify useful words from the state of the art, and then we work to prove the feasibility of this. Here we start to reach, create, and implement new algorithms. And after hard work in a simulation environment, we start the experiments on the REST platform. In our work, we mainly focus on quadcopters. We have experiences with multiple platforms, and we realize that each one is different from the other, both in terms of hardware, of software, and aerodynamics. We try to outline solutions that bring immediate benefits to their community by focusing on applied research. First, with pen and paper, then moving to the simulation, and finally, to verifying up our approach on real world. Currently, for our experiments, we use a collection of drone platforms that are very different from each other. They are different in terms of speed, agility, and ability to carry objects. First, this guarantees the opportunity to use the correct platform for the right scenario. Then, our goal is to guarantee the right collection of swarm, even if the vehicles are significantly different from each other. One of the challenges we are facing for the UGV person following use case is to re-identify the person that the UGV is following. With re-identification solution, the UGV can resume following the same person. 
even after the person got occluded or went out of the field of view. In order to achieve this, a machine learning based algorithm has been explored and successfully tested in several models, such as ResNet 50 control, ResNet 18 control, and Onset NX1. That has been trained using our in house dataset. And the highest accuracy achieved against our uh, dataset is 84.8%, while the goal accuracy should be at least 90%. Nano drones are enabling platforms that open the door for people with different backgrounds, different setups, to just jump in and join and contribute to the knowledge pool that is drone-related research. They are cheap, they are light, and they are very safe to fly indoors without worrying about hurting others and damaging those surroundings. The sky's the limit when it comes to drones, pun intended. The world overall is finding more useful cases for drones every day. I mean, the prospect is amazing. And that's why the world and TIS specifically are working very hard on bringing those prospects to life. I'm just happy to be a part of this step into the future. Our team is composed of around 80 researchers that are specialized in the areas that I mentioned before and we are looking to increase the size of our team. So whoever is interested, you can approach our booth today, you can approach our team who is present in the conference today and then have further discussions with them.